Hi guys, Dean on Underman here, and this is going to be our review of the Virgin Media Anywhere application for the iPad. Now this got released last Wednesday, and I have to say I absolutely love this application. Now a couple of things to remember about this is that you're going to need to have a Virgin Media TiVo box in your house, otherwise this isn't going to work. So it won't work on your normal Virgin Media boxes or your Virgin Plus boxes, it has to be a TiVo box. Now what this application is here to do is allows you to control your television and um, your Virgin Media service so you can change channel, you can record channel and you can also watch certain programs straight on your iOS device. Now with the Anywhere application you can use it on the iPad, the iPhone, um, they're bringing out an Android application early next year and then you can also use it on your PC as well. So you can watch Virgin Media or control the services pretty much anywhere. You can link up to two devices to it, so I've got my iPad and my iPhone connected to it, so then I can manage my TiVo service. So a quick tour around the application. First of all, once you've connected it all up, you're going to get the guide menu, and this is probably one of my favourite parts of the application going. It's a lot easier to use than the TiVo on-screen guide and then you can flick through all of your channels just here so if I go to this one and then as you can see ITV tells me what's on over the next four or five hours just at the side so very very nice I can skip through to see what's on at two o'clock at those times and then I can also search for channels as well so if I put So my kids love watching CBeebies, I can go straight to that channel and it'll show me what's on. Now like I said you can stream certain programs over here so if we change this from all I can select favourite channels or just streaming channels and then depending on what package you have depends on which channels that you can stream and there's around 40 if you're on the XL service so I can stream all those to my iPhone or my iPad which makes great if you've got children or you're just going to want to go and watch a different program in a different room as well. Now one thing to remember is you need to have your TiVo box connected in some way shape or form through to your router obviously that's the way that it controls. Now you can either do this physically with a wire or if you haven't got your hub in the same room as your TiVo box you can do it through a power port and what that is is it's two plugs and it uses your home electrical system, so the wires in your walls, to run the internet round and then you plug one end into your router and then the other end into the TiVo box. So I can then go onto information so I can see what channel is being watched at the moment. Go through to my show so I can see what has been recorded and what my TiVo box has recorded and from there I can then decide if I just swipe it across to delete it if I wish or not. And then another cool feature is if you've got the picture there, if you flick that towards the television it will bring it on straight away. So you can choose how to display these via date or via um, alphabetical order. Now down at the side here you've got watch now, series link, delete, upcoming, explore and more. So you're able to see which ones you want to do. If I could watch this now I can change my series link. So it's a lot more easier than to do it on here than it actually is on the TV. And this is why I love this application so much. I can head over to here and then I have a full set of buttons like on my remote control. So I can ch change my channel up and down, I can go home, I can pretty much do anything that I could. But one great feature is I can bring up a physical keyboard. So if I was searching for something I'd be able to do it straight away from there. I then get a play and pause button as well and also a scrub bar so you can pick where you want to watch it. If we head over to browse then I can browse all the things by different collections, movies, TV, sports and then choose the recording if necessary and then like I said I can manage all my things that records as well and what it's next due to record which is a really different thing and then it's got the help application as well.
So like I said, from here I can record, I can stream stuff straight to my iPad or iPhone as well. Now one thing to remember with this is your programs that you already have recorded, you can't stream those from your TiVo service to the iPad, which is a little bit of a shame. So this has been our review of the Virgin Anywhere application. There to control your TiVo service, and like I said, you can either do that from the iPad itself or from your iPhone. But the great thing about this is you can use this over 3G to record or delete and manage your TiVo services. So this has been what it's like on the iPad. If you click my iPhone right now, you'll be able to see our review of the application for the iPhone, which is a different video. So thanks very much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and like this video. Hopefully you will now go and either upgrade to TiVo or download the application if you already have it. And remember to click that share button and share this on Google+, Facebook and also Twitter. So thanks very much for watching and we will catch you real soon in the next one.